Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018 um, <clears throat> Now while I'm shuffling the cards guys in case you do uh, want a personal reading with me uh, check out my website it is written down below in the description of this video and there you can find the services and their pricing as well and as it is say uh, the summer end uh, there is a summer end sale going on which uh, adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes uh, service so that set aside let's see what you do have uh, to face for the duration of September by the way this is a, a seven card spread and the first card here represents the uh, past circumstances which are going to uh, have an impact upon your month the second card here will show us what the month is going to be or this is the topic the theme for September for you third card points um, outlook for the future or things should you choose to go for or you can choose not to go for now that depends entirely on you the the fourth card here represents the best possible action or the best possible approach toward the topic and toward the team the uh, fifth card here will show us uh, for you Gemini how the people are going to take you uh, for the duration of the month or what will be the attitude of the people involved in your situations towards you uh, then we do have challenges to be taken for the rest for the duration of the month and the last one shows the final outcome or uh, how you're gonna wrap up the uh, the opportunities or you know the misfortune that may await you for the duration of this month so let's see what you got here now the first card pointing the um, past circumstances here we do have the devil card very interesting so this card could very well mean that you are chasing something because the, the the devil card is associated with that insatiable hunger one to possess a particular thing and that doesn't have to be something material you know that could be the very sense of uh, of stability of comfort of the job that you have dreamed of etc etc and I'm, what i'm trying to say here is that you are chasing a hunger of yours that could be as well a person you know or buying a house buying a specific car etc etc so that particular uh, circumstances will have an impact upon this month and maybe maybe this month it is where you accomplish and you feed that hunger very important however <clears throat> the devil card somehow makes people to see things narrowly what i mean is that you may kind of uh, adopted a little bit of a of a narrow vision here um <clears throat> Uh, regarding you know regarding the means that you need that you need in order to achieve and um, in order to achieve what you're after and to satisfy that hunger and this narrow vision kind of renders your options quite limited so uh, let's see what the next card cards are going to show us here but the devil card on its own it could be either cons constructive or destructive depending how one incorporate those very strong energies of that insatiable hunger into uh, into their daily routine so let's see what the theme of the month is going to be now we do have the three of wands so three of wands points first of all the uh, there will be a extreme synergy in between your um, your efforts and what is happening which means that whatever you aim to do or, or not whatever you aim to do but yeah whatever you do will be um, equally rewarded either good or bad so let's say that you initiate to go on a vacation with, with people that you love and if you work for it um, sincerely, then, um, then a vacation is what you're going to have if you work for it. If you don't work for it, you won't have it. Or, for example, um, <clears throat> in your relationship, whenever you initiate something, uh, what will happen will be totally synced with your expectations. So it's kind of like it's a very potent month. To really reap a fruit of, of your labor as everything will happen in the frame of already existing patterns 
and it is very potent month as well where you can kind of improve yourself especially career wise by you placing a, a new challenges in front of yourself because this is the ordinary way so if the improvement is the hunger that you that you need to satisfy then you have to start placing bigger challenges in front of yourself but nonetheless the three of ones here points that this month is going to be a month where you're gonna have it the way you want it all right so i hope here that you gemini's really know what you want because this time around as i said you're gonna have it and i hope that you won't realize that what you wanted is not something that you need very important to feed the hunger as i said so what you can go for here the outlook of the future we do have the star card so uh, you can go for a, a long-term goal now the star card here represents an initi initiation of an enterprise of, or or of a, an undertaking which takes off and it's it continues itself even in the next month in the month after and maybe in the next year as well so here the advice of the cards is to uh, be more prone for the long-term goals, the long-term undertakings rather than to seek um, completion into, uh, into small deeds. You can go for as well, you know, for uh, to end a certain era of a turmoil because the star card also represents that. So if you do have conflicts in your career or conflicts in your relationship, social circle, family, etc., etc., this month definitely these conflicts can be uh, can be settled down. These conflicts could, could be resolved, and from there you will have the support from those which you recently, which you in the recent part in the recent part yeah you did not have all right because remember you will have it the way you want it so I hope you know what you want and if love is what you're lacking you definitely can achieve a an unfolding and unconditional love not necessarily intimate one but definitely you can kind of win a love to overflow your joy your heart with joy in the duration of this month uh, the best possible approach to all the situation here is the Ace of Cups and I have only a couple of words to say for you about the Ace of Cups. This card um, uh, reflects activities which again overflow our heart with joy. So this month will be and should be entirely yours to use the way you like it. Alright, so if you don't know what you truly want from your career or from your relationship, uh, from your family as well, etc., etc. Because sometimes the devil, uh, we do feel that we need something, you know. We do feel that we do have that void within us, that 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 darkness within us, should I say? And this is because the flame that um, burns for life itself, it's kind of fading, and it is fading because we cannot see what we need more you know we, we cannot see what we lacking here and that's why perhaps we have to place in front of ourselves a new challenges just so we can kind of feel ourselves alive again but uh, if we don't know where to start from it's the approach that we need to take uh, and this is this approach points that we need to start forcing a little bit of a small changes into our life here and there just so we can see what what change in our life or in which field in our life where we may change kind of start makes us feel joyful it makes us feel um, hopeful as well and it restores back the clamor we do have into ourselves and into the good future that usually awaits us or awaits you Gemini's very important with the ace of cups you uh, and I will try to stress it enough here is that this month of September is the month where you do only what you like and not what you have to very important otherwise you will not be able to feed your hunger and when and what I like to say here is when the when the flame fades darkness spreads and at the end only dark will remain so uh, and you can lose a lot in it just so you know so whatever you do whenever you feel that void toward whatever field of your life here Gemini's you have to do everything on your power here and you will have 
the opportunity and the means to do it to feed that hunger. How the people we are going to accept that, however, Four of Pentacles, they will totally understand you here. They will know that this is very essential for you to do because probably these people which are involved into your situation, which are affected by that hunger that you do have, very well understand that um, and they have been through that particular thing and they know that um, you will not feel fulfilled if you don't do what it is necessary here to reach a certain closure with yourself because this is about uh, reaching a closure with our with oneself just to give you an, an example it will be probably a very stupid one but you know uh let's say that you do have a kid and your kid is like eight years old or maybe nine years old and your kid wants a, a gaming console now this is a hunger that the kid has and until you don't buy them a gaming console they will always be angry they will always feel um, you know mistreated as well because all of their friends has a gaming consoles etc etc so this hunger to be satisfied is necessary and eventually is going to be satisfied but um, sometimes these things escalate you know um, and this is what I'm talking about about fading the flame now when they, when you don't buy the kid your kid a gaming console they start uh, feeling themselves like they're below their friends they kind of fall into depression you know they lose um, eager to kind of uh, continue on going into school to play with friends etc etc basically they don't feel themselves into the same level uh, and in the same circle of society as their friends are so this is what kind of a hunger I'm talking about here that you won't feel yourself fulfilled if you don't feed that particular hunger if you don't do what your soul needs into this um, into the month of September now the next card points to the challenges here and that will be the tree of swords so it will be uh, very difficult for you to do it without uh, how can I place it without uh, revealing uh, hurtful hurtful truth should i say uh towards certain people into your uh into the society you are at so what i'm trying to say here is is that um some of the people around you probably some of that you count a lot probably some some people which are uh very tightly connected with your undertakings will see you in a very very different light and a light that you did not want to did not want them did not want them to see you just to give you an example um some of your coworkers may see you uh more let's say you know emotional regarding your relationship that then you would have liked to all right uh, or your partner into your relationship kind of could see you a little bit more angry than you would like to etc etc so the challenge here will be kind of like to um to show your nature because I believe having the the, uh, the devil card there as the uh, past circumstances which will have an impact into that month and the power to do the things the way you want to or the things to happen the way you want and expecting them to happen uh, will also uh, make you careless to hide the monster within and when you are careless to hide the monster within you know people see uh, what the other side of yourself is so be prepared to face a certain critics and as well from some of those who are unyielding regarding human, human character to face as well some critics and not critics but a, a mental cruelty excuse me and the next card it will be uh, the last one which is how you wrapped up all that we do have the two of wands which points that you have finally found how to satisfy your hunger or you found what you are looking for here two of swords points toward the aggression and eagerness to to seek closure into your case i mean to seek closure and to capitalize on the um <clears throat> on the opportunity given to um to conquer new fields all right or in your case to conquer your hunger <clears throat> 
So it will be very important here to tame the beast within as I said and it will be uh, very important as well to calculate very carefully you know what, I what will be needed here to, um, to accomplish your tasks, to, uh, to accomplish the project, the job, to accomplish the deed into your relationship, etc, etc. Because uh, sometimes when we are, when we are way, way too tenacious, that card signifies the, the, um, the state of being depraved from everything we are after. So uh, that's why um, we should, or you, Gemini's, should be quite, uh, should approach the situation from a, a very, very mature angle here. I know the limitation of the situation as well. Remember, you can play with those limitations as long as you accurately place them. And out of those limitations, at the end, it does look like that you will be able to get what your soul needs. Love, prosperity, you name it material success if you want to freedom you know it depends on what you are after so that being said gemini's this was your monthly tarot reading for september 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rod signing out now see you next time bye